watch a game of what else? <laughs> Almost always metal and tools. Food days and dropping right before harvest. Um, yeah, just a just a tad bit, Acri. Just a tad bit. Um, in fact, I'm gonna turn my utility smith down. Maybe I can let armor catch or metal catch up. Switch you over to swords. Yes, swords. And shields. Tools. Make tools. I make those rather. Um, furniture. Storage are looking low. Oop. We're gonna get this figured out one way or the other. Oh damn! Uh, of course I did that. Let's see, that's fine, that's fine. Tools to grade over time is unlikely. You will have to tool up all your workshop. That's yet another reason why trade is so critical. In this game. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm starting to think the limits of where I'll be able to end up will just be my patience with dealing with some of it. Because, <laughs> like, I'm going to get to a point where I'm like, mm, this is fun, but this isn't as fun as it was when I started. And if I'm feeling that way at 3.5, like, whew. Definitely gonna feel lazier when I get closer to 10. Somebody there. Cool. That's fine. Wait, why didn't that work? Did those just not activate? What the hell? curious how that's gonna work if it's fine just in there okay I'm just gonna leave it not picky about looks as you can tell <laughs> Don't do another. 
Holy balls, that was just one dick. <laughs> uh, a lot of lab guys. <laughs> a whole lot of lab guys. They were like, what, we get, we get more tools? Buy a warehouse. That's insane, they're just gonna build it like that. But uh, if it works, I'm not mad. Retirement still paying dividends on the immigration front. I still only got 14 dudes in there. I'll go double check, make sure I'm not making a liar out of myself, but I did just look at him. 22! Yeah, it did grow. Fuck. <laughs> and a city that only had labs, libraries. Uh, okay, in earlier versions, I had a city that only had labs, libraries, administrations, and jewel crafters. Taxed and imported all the gems, made jewels with max tools, taking education for maximum efficiency. Sold the jewel. Sold the jewel, so I got so much money. I imported every other item, including weapons, by the thousands. Every setting walked around. Four sets of cloth. Ate three rations. Trunk all the time. Had jewels on. It was decadent squared. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's kind of what I was like going for here. Uh, there's a little more war than I'd like. And this is definitely harder than version 64, as far as like keeping everything balanced and up, at least for me. Um, 64, I could kind of just slap things all around and do whatever here, like I feel like I'm putting out fires all the time. Uh, at least this high a population. I still can't believe that smelter worked like it did, that's hilarious. Why is it auto-employed? No auto-employ. That gets me into trouble. <clears throat> mm. That last lab tick might have been too much. And I get, I should have probably shut a lab or two down. I'm just not comfortable doing that, especially how, how that went the last time. out on the smelters. Oh, and they need ore. And we all need more dudes. I'll back that off after I see if it works out at all. No, I plan on tweaking it. I, I even, like, downloaded a mod for, like, changing the degradation. Because, like, tools I could see wearing out. But, like, weapons and armor, not if they're cared for. Like, eventually, yeah, sure, a sword could wear out or plate mail could wear out. But, like, only from battle, not from just, like, walking around use. So I was going to tweak certain things like that to have a little more fun with the game with some things that made more sense to me. But, hell, I... I freaking downloaded it and never even activated it. I got so many spoilage perks by the time I got around to it I was just like, well, hell, I don't need it. <laughs> I 
was overproducing, so I didn't care. But that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work for the long haul, of course. I gotta get more efficient. Oh wait, I had a noble die? When? Balls. Well, that's probably been killing my damn uh, industry. No, nope, that dude's going. Refinery, that dude's going. Nope. Well, I was hoping. So who am I missing? I got mines, industry, refinery, feast farms. Who died? Oh well. Uh, I guess we'll pick another human. I haven't known one of them in a while. Four-year-old noble, that's what we need. Mm, don't want a scribe to hop off. Yeah, you, random Roberta. Forge. Fuck me. Or, no, my university headmaster. Oh, shit. <laughs> that might have been one of the reasons my tech took a nosedive. <laughs> oh, my prime multiplier was missing. Or additive, or whatever it is. Jesus, look at the tech go. 8.5, 8.6, just... That's hilarious. Can't believe I missed that too. It's like juggling chainsaws. Squish, how's the uh, Steam Deck coming now? You having any more luck? No. Aw, what's wrong? Um, it's not letting me connect it to my TV. Because... So, in order to connect it to my TV and then to my capture card, mm -hmm. I'm going to need three HDMI ports. One for my computer, for my OBS, one from my Steam Deck to my TV, and one for the capture card to the TV. But that's only for you to stream, right? Yes. So you have everything you need to play it on a TV now, right? To play it on a TV, yes. To stream it, no, because I only have two HDMI ports. Hmm. Uh, Acri, uh, no real short-term plan. I'm just chilling out, filling up meters. <laughs> uh, playing the lazy way that got me here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, all right. So, you said you, it doesn't work on your TV. Um, as long as I'm not streaming it. Well, it I mean, will. at least you can enjoy that, right? Oh. What? Oh, I clicked a button by accident. And it's on my Steam Deck and my TV. What in the hell is going on here? This thing so is showing let's... zero production? How do I got dudes in here doing stuff if I've got zero production? So let's try another game and see. It's even taking resources, what in the hell? Gotta be glitched out or something. Wait, I have to put it. Let's try that. Missing ore. I mean, yeah, a lot of it. And let me see. I've got these dudes completely maxed out. Yep. Let 
Wait a minute. I cut off all my imports and exports. Oh no, I did set up livestock. I was like, where the hell am I getting money? Wait, where's that silly inn? I gotta check out some of those reviews. Those things are funny. Uh, let's see. Mechanicus Fortuna, stay away. The laboratories are a bit small and unimpressive. The barber were the barber were appalling. <laughs> All right. Whiskey Thalgar, gratitude for your great work. The service of the grumpy badger was flawless. So yeah, why do some people call my lab small and unimpressive, and other people are like, "Hey, those laboratories are awesome." Uh, should have bought, should have both some machinery to upgrade the mine while you had the money. Yeah, I know, right? I was thinking of that earlier. I wouldn't be having uh, production values in the mine at all if I had that upgrade. But getting that upgrade is going to be a pain. I'm going to have to finagle some stuff. Uh, not much to do, but the people seem okay. I'm a human priest. So I talk to a theory. It's weird when people are like, hey, I talk to one of the gods. It's like, alright, dude. Couldn't find a vacant stage? How is the stage not vacant? I guess it only has so many services to give. Bland experience. Laboratories are bland. What do, what do they need? What are you expecting from labs? I don't get it. Oh, man. Yeah, three stars is as good as I've ever gotten. I cannot make those people happy. Oh, well. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I'm not uh I'm not sure I can continue this uh continue keeping this train going for now. It's kind of a brain drain. May have to do something a bit more casual later. I'll relax. Mmm, damn. So I'm getting some bars, like just enough to keep production up. And I'm making enough tools to get by. Well, I got some more tech I can use. Or, 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 or. Let's see where that gets us. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's easier just to kind of sit back and look at it through somebody else doing it and be like, hey, I see what you're doing wrong. When it's you yourself, you're like, ugh. <laughs> no, I get you. My case. City layout. Yeah, no, um, the only thing I could think of for a city layout solution, because I, I keep running into that too, would be planning out like districts and have like cookie cutter districts or have like preset buildings of different sizes and like efficiencies to Lego into place for different district layouts. But I mean, at the end of the day, apparently just slapping stuff where you can helps out a lot too. Oh, we're starting just to see a touch of ore. Like, it's not sticking at zero the entire time like it was, but it's still nowhere near enough. And the wrongful death finally fell off the city. Not that it hurt immigration at all. Like, good lord, all the humans still want to roll up in here. Speaking of, I've got to check that retirement home to make sure it doesn't get out of hand. How many of you are there? 19. Well, there's less of you. 
Oh, that means somebody all died. That's sad. Right? Like, I get it. They're pixels. They're pixel people. But I don't want to be a dick either. <laughs> uh, like, uh... That was something me and Squish were talking about the other day, like why RPGs and the like appeal to us so much. Because like in the real world, you lack a, a real agency to make a huge difference in day-to-day -day life. Like on a bigger scale, video games kind of give you a, a, a way of enjoying that kind of agency, I feel. Uh, it's like, well, I can't save this world, but maybe I can save this one. But if nothing else... Good relaxing break. Good bit of fun. Hmm. There's some more ore stuff there that I could technically, like, ring out. 60% deposit, so... But man, it would shut down everything for a minute. I think I got enough tools stacked up, I could do it. But I mean, hell, would it even matter? Wait, what is this? Oh, I didn't know I had more coal on this map. Do I have more ore? I do have more ore. Oh, I can expand way more than I thought. Never mind. Created division with max equipment, preferably 150 men strong. See if you can siege down the neighbor with just 150 men. Okay. Cause that might be doable. Oh, I think I figured it out. Oh, what's up, Squish? What'd you do? Uh, I think I figured it out how to stream it through the deck without actually downloading it to the computer. Okay. It only took me forever, but you know. 84% deposit. Right? Like, wow. <laughs> like, can I just... That is that is the next dimension in army creation right there and metal creation and I need to get started. <laughs> I'm gonna have to create an entire mining town just for that deposit. But luckily the coal's right there ready to be hit. The question is do I go up or down and ooh, my wall does not cover that. You need to get workforce. I have the immigration power for this. <laughs> oh, I did. What happened? Oh. I. Time for a pardon. See, where are all the fun prisoners? We had like a bunch of flashing women and stuff like that. I got murderers. I got four, I got four full asylums. And we'll let the Dundarian go. We haven't had a Dundarian pardoned in a while. Its citizens are its walls. I mean, if everybody's in full plate mail, then yeah, you're kind of right by what you told me. Uh-oh. Whoa. What the hell happened? I'm suddenly 19 short on workforce? And there was an injury due to something. Oh. Somebody talk to me. Uh oh. Oh, did my hospital auto employ? Probably. No. No, I think it was the prisons, maybe? No. What the hell just disappeared my workforce? Or did I just have a chunk of people retire? Or die. Or die. Nah. 
If they're retired, they wouldn't be in the workforce either. I don't think. Well, we better get some more bodies in before anything else goes wrong. So let's see if I can do this again. Workforce summary. It wasn't sudden, I noticed it. Well, it's sudden to me. <laughs> I often check the workforce summary to see if any industry have more than I think they should have. You can turn off a lab or two. You say that. And it might be true. It probably is true. But it would cause me such anxiety, I don't know, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Fuck, more tech. Uh, give me by for now. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta set up all this stuff. So, or is there? Hell, I can just make some more. Hmm, that's gonna get somebody trapped if I do that. Let's just get this dug. Cause apparently I was planning on it at some point and then just forgot all about it. Yeah. Yep. And that's an extra stone mine, too, if I wanted to increase that. Although the auto-gathering in this game does not really please me. Got a water source for baths here. Turn it into a little cave resort. Maybe if I ever figure out plumbing in any kind of real meaningful way, I can do something with that. Oh, baby, you testing Valheim out? Let me know how it works. I want to know how that plays. I bet it's fun. I just yeah. can't imagine having one of those things. They are so neat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Numbers finally got updated. Or it finally got some damn ore to use either way. Back up to 1k tools. We don't need that many tools. We do need some metal. Let's take Acri's advice. Do some trading. Alright. Uh, me running what? Tools. Export. Work brain. Work damn you. set it for that and I'll check on it. That's why I built all these. So I could just set it and forget it for a little while. Um, imports. Metal. Uh, 
Uh, export the... Wait. Export the furs. You don't want to export tools. Use them. No, I'm going to use them. Uh, but I'm going to use them for now. Since I have like a bonus of them. And I'm not going to put them into labs or anything. Ah, fuck it. I'll put them in the labs. That does sound better. Tick, and watch all those disappear. Farms, pastures, carpenters. Uh, a lot of my pastures are already using them. Uh, carpenters should be using them as well. Brewers are using them. Tailors are using them. Weavers are using them. Um, not all of them. Paper makers. Uh, yeah, bakeries. All right, we gotta see this workforce tab. No, I don't want any of your dirty slaves. <laughs> we don't do slavery here. Okay. Workforce summary tab. Oh, this. Well. Wait. How do I read this? Oh. Go in here. And all of them. Holy balls. Okay. Damn, I'm not using Max on fisheries either. Son of a bitch, I missed so much. Well, we can get the Globdian pasture some, because, like, they literally barely have anything. Click on it. Yep. And... Wait, you can just... What the fuck? Turn them all up? You have zero hunters? No, I don't have zero hunters. I have a lot of hunters. I have zero tools on my hunters. Okay. Jesus, there. Fuck. Right? No, and I heard that, but like... Oh, man, I totally forgot about them when it came to tools. Uh, I could boost meat and cotton on them. Uh, hold on, man. I want to get through the labs. I want to get tech done. I'm thinking about too many things at once. But now I know where to go when I want to do tool updates. Let those build back up for a minute. Make sure they can take the damn strain of the labs. Not really a whole lot else I need right Well, fishery could... I'm using that shit on fisheries. Get them back up. Come on, metal. Oh, you're nowhere near 60. Hmm. Much more efficient to use the tools for excess production and materials or products and then sell those, like selling furs, furniture, pottery, even food. I'm scared to sell food, but the rest of it, absolutely. Furs, though. Uh, hides, leather. I think, yeah. Mm, scared of the pottery, because pottery's been a little... Uh, wishy-washy in the past where did all my cloth go
damn it. <laughs> Spoiling. Oh, shit, you're right. Oh, how much of those fruits are spoiling each quarter? You know what? I still don't know how to see that. I guess this. Consume production 103. been planting orchards as I need them. If I am, I don't know it. I do have that mod installed, but it only affected things like metal. It wouldn't have touched the food. But I don't have it activated, so it shouldn't be doing shit. What does the tooltip say about the percentage? Fuck me, I don't know. <laughs> um, where do I find the percentage tooltip that you're talking about? Net. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not smart enough at this game to try and cheat and hide it. That'd be dope, though. I want to get that good. Me. Uh, the right side icon tool to below the mini map. Oh, okay. And we were looking at. Gods, I'm so brain dead. What the hell were we looking at? Oh, the fruit. Alright. Spool rate minus 80%. Stored minus 22%. So. What does that mean? Alright. I mean, I assumed if I stacked spoil rate, 22% of my stuff is spoiling per year. Okay. So, minus 22% stored, if I look at all those, that'll tell me how much spoil, how much of a percentage of what I've got stored spoils per year. Damn, how does meat have minus 100 and fruit only has minus 80 mushrooms are minus 40 they ain't, they ain't sticking around for shit minus 10 that seems okay I guess the higher the spoil rate is Huh. It's kind of confusing to uh, to read, like, to interpret what they mean by that. So, I guess when I started the game, the spoil rate was, like, 100%. And then, as I took those texts, it went down. Uh, what's accuracy? Set up an export depot to keep at least 80% stored. You should not run... Any issue that said your storage capacity is very very large so you should reduce that first or set the export to something like over 20 percent yeah with stores that huge like i didn't know how any of that worked so i just assumed the more storage the better i got tired of running out of room so i was just like okay keep building warehouses now upgrade them <laughs> so i have an obscene amount of uh <laughs> warehouse space Uh, all right, let's see. Um, it's definitely not liking Valheim. What, the Steam Deck? It'll let me play on the Steam Deck, but it doesn't want to broadcast it to my TV. Okay. But that could be because it's not wired. Well, you gotta remember too, you bought a handheld it's best used as a handheld. It will be like a little mini computer in some aspects, but it's gonna have some limited use. Oh yeah, no, I 
it's okay, you can shuffle them around. Oh, as far as the import exports or pff, good lord. Actually, yeah, I don't even know what to where to start. Like look at all these. How many do I have? Sixteen. Sixteen different seventeen warehouses. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be one of those Excel spreadsheet days where I just sit down and, like, sort it all out. Some of that stuff is a bit absurd. And I do need to tailor my warehouses not only for space so that I can do import-export easier, but also for, like, the location and things around them. Because before it was just throw everything and whatever, but having, st like, stockpiles nearby... It's pretty handy. What? Why would you be able to give your warehouse guys tools? What are they going to do with that? Like, is that like wheelbarrows? Because if I give them wheelbarrow, you know, if I can give them wheelbarrows, that would be, be way better. Add carry capacity. How much crap they can run around with. I've been upgrading that through the tech tree this whole time as well. Because I figured it would help out logistics. Only did a couple transports and both of them were useless. Um, yeah. It's about tunked out. Oh, I can get the. I can get another spoilage. I don't need it though right now. I need to figure out metal. thousand good good god yeah we're just gonna get that other mine set up that's that'll be easier than that good lord you can check I'm trying to keep up with all this information you're giving me <laughs> If you want guarantees, just make more rations. That's one of the things I've been trying to get into. I found out the Cretorians had like a knack for it, and they really like doing it. And, uh... Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Just don't expect me to keep up, and we're fine. <laughs> doing my best just watching all the pretty pixels go across the screen. It's amazing I've gotten this far. Oh, man. Wait a minute. I had six nobles... When I was a Decori Ray. Yeah, wasn't it? Shouldn't I have more now? I should have a seventh noble. I have no idea. I can just watch in silence as you suffer. I mean, it'd be like watching a dude trying to build a sandcastle in a snowstorm. And so, sure. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. When did I start getting nobility at a Prontix Ray? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can get a seventh noble. Son of a... Oh, how did I miss slash forget that? Man. Um, I have no idea. And I got a seventh chamber. All ready to go. I just never appointed a seventh noble. Glorious. Long live the empire. I mean, okay, so. Don't want to use a scientist. It's the human uh, university headmaster. No, let's try this. Fucking dirty miner. There we go. Perfect. Perfect people to make, uh,. To make nobles. I pick people from the bottom to go at the top. They know what it's like. Oh no, I had another noble death. Master of the refinery died, I guess. Oh no, that's blacked out. Uh, master builder? I did have one of those. Master of the feast. Farms. Headmaster. Mines, industry, 
refinery. Weird. You look pretty old for an 11 year old guy. Alright, builders give you furniture, degradation, carry capacity. Master of Forge if you don't have it yet. Yeah, I was thinking about that because I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> they just had to add a Master Bader just for the joke, didn't they? My god. <laughs> Darling, that was. That was awful. You're awful. I love it. I am awful. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Master of Forge it is. Get over there, 11 year old gray haired man with mustache. Life is hard out here in the sticks. <laughs> oh my god. See that old dude over there? He's 11. <laughs> He's worked in the mines all his life. I'm 11. <laughs> 